With push button programming, you have eight options to choose from. Please refer to the instruction sheet for details on each of the options. There are four manual on options and four auto on options with a variety of timeouts and sensitivity levels. I'm Reed Parks, product manager for Smart Wallbox Sensors. The Smart Wallbox Sensor is designed to use right out of the box, but if you want to do any custom configuration, there's two ways to program the device. One, using push button programming or using the Smart Sensor app. In this video, I'll be showing you how to program the device using push button program. First, you'll need to remove the wall plate. If you're using a Levitin screwless wall plate, you'll also need to remove the plastic surround. With the wall plate removed, next you'll need to remove the front face of the sensor. To do that, there are two tabs on the bottom that you pinch in lift up and pull down, which will expose uh, two buttons underneath the sensor faceplate. To put it in programming mode, these two buttons will need to be engaged simultaneously for roughly 15 seconds. So I'll go ahead and press those in, and you'll notice a few things happen with the LEDs. First, it'll start blinking uh, blue, and then go to a blue-red pattern next, when it goes to green, I will release the two buttons and it's now ready to go in programming mode. So there's eight options available. Details are in the install manual. I'm going for option five, which is a manual on setting, has 75% sensor sensitivity and a 10 minute timeout. So right now blinking once it's in mode one and I'm gonna hit the bottom button until I get to, uh, until you see it uh, blink five times. So I'll go ahead and hit it again. You'll notice it blinked twice. That means it's now in mode two. So I can hit it three more times and it should now blink five times. If we miscount, it'll repeat it so that we can make sure we're in the right setting. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's what I'm looking for. So now to lock it in place, I'm going to Press the bottom button for five seconds until that LED indicator light is a solid green. So I'll then start to press it, wait for it to go solid green. There it goes, I'll release it and it'll blink five times again just to confirm that's the setting I'm in. And then both of the LEDs will, will turn off and it's now uh, programmed in that mode. And so I can put the face plate of the sensor back on and then the wall plate back on and the installation is complete. So I've reattached the plastic surround and now can put the wall plate back on and the sensor is ready to use in a manual on mode. Turn it off, turn it back on, ready to go. Nice, quick and easy. To learn more about smart wall box sensors, visit leviton.com forward slash smart sensors.